come ye all who are heavily burdened and I will give you rest. Good afternoon, my beautiful brothers and sisters, connecting from all over the globe. This wonderful afternoon, this May Day, to love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. Connecting with the portal of the Casa de Don Ignacio, the house of love where the medicine is love. Here in Abijania, in the heart of Brazil. And as we embrace this beautiful day, this gift from God, we have clear blue skies reminding us of the mantle of our Divine Mother Mary. This is her month. And big fluffy white clouds passing slowly overhead, reminding us of our impermanence and that all things change. In the valley there are so many magnificent, colourful, fragrant flowers honouring our Divine Mother and butterflies everywhere of all colours and sizes reminding us again of our transformation and birds serenading us in a divine symphony and creation is so much alive May we walk the earth every day of our lives and realise its beauty, the gift of creation. So with this joy in our hearts, we settle into this divine work together as one family. Try to be as comfortable as you possibly can. Many of our brothers and sisters are on crystal beds, which is great work. And connecting with the crystals of the Casa, which hold a very powerful light energy. And if you can, put some water beside you. A glass is enough. And we ask the entities to come and energize it so we will be filled with this very high vibration of love and light. And if you are sitting upright, we elevate our heads just a little so this beautiful energy can flow fluidly, freely and easily through each and every one of us, like a river, a current of love and light. Breathing in more and more love. And breathing out this beautiful love light, filling Mother Earth with this glorious high vibration. Helping all of our brothers and sisters who are suffering as we are just walking each other home. And as we close our physical eyes, we open our spiritual eyes where we can see everything 
beyond appearances, all there is. We are reminded again and again and again that we are spiritual beings, having a human experience and not the other way around. We're not the body. We're so much more. We are more than we think. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. Today we pay tribute to our brother, Saint Christopher, who is the patron saint of all travellers. And in this modern day of motorists, and also the patron of epilepsy, lightning, storms, pestilence, floods, and soldiers, so they may return, travel back to their loved ones. The name Christopher is so beautiful. It means Christ bearer in Greek or one who carries Christ. Saint Christopher lived in the third century which seems like an awful long time ago but in the spirit world it's just a blink of an eye. There's no time or space. Saint Christopher was a man of great strength, a giant, who devoted himself to Jesus by helping travellers to cross a dangerous river where no bridge existed. He was the bridge from one side to the other, the journey. One day a child asked to ride on Christopher's shoulders across the river. And the child seemed to grow heavier and heavier with every step. St. Christopher felt that both their lives were in danger. When he finally reached the other side, he said to the child, You have put us in great danger. I do not think the whole world could be as heavy on me as you were. The child replied, you had on your shoulder not only the whole world, but him who made it. I am Christ, your King, whom you are serving by this divine work. In these unsettling, enduring times, when we are all indeed feeling like we're carrying the whole world on our shoulders, as Jesus carried his cross, We need to really realize we are not alone. We have so much help from the other side, from beyond the veil. We carry Christ in our hearts. He is with us every step of this journey. 
reminded that we are just travelers here on earth and this too will pass. We have so many entities of light and love with us, sent by our creator to help us, guide us, protect us and love us on this journey that we call life on earth. So let us reach out to them in these difficult times, asking God Almighty to help us all, incarnate and disincarnate, on our journey back home into the celestial fields. As we say the prayer of Caritas, divine love, Love is all there is. Love never ends. And we are love and we are light. That is all, all there is. Let us offer this almighty vibration upwards towards the heavens, asking God Almighty to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity. Helping us all to go on the inward journey and to find the peace, the harmony, the compassion, the love, the forgiveness, the gratitude, the joy deep, deep within us. And it is within all of us. We are divine beings. As we travel home into the light, out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love. O oh, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, sacred trinity of innumerable names, provide strength to those who are experiencing pain and anguish. Give light to those who seek the truth. Fill the human heart with compassion and love. God, give the traveller the star that guides. Solace to those in pain. And rest to the sick and weary. Father, give the guilty repentance. The spirit, the truth. Give the child guidance, the orphan a parent. Lord, let your goodness encompass everything that you have created. Clemency, my God, to those who do not know you. Hope to those who are in pain. Let your will allow the consoling spirits to spread peace, hope and faith everywhere. God, may a single ray of light, a spark of your divine love, blaze this earth.
let us drink from the fountain of that infinite and fruitful goodness. And all tears will be dried, and all pain lessened. A single heart, a single thought will rise to you like a cry of gratitude and love. Like Moses on the mountain, we await you with open arms. O oh, Almighty, O oh, Greatness, All oh, Powerful, All oh, Beauty, All oh, Perfection. And we wish in some way to receive your mercy. God, grant us the power to help progress that we may rise up to you. Give us pure love. Give us faith and reason. Give us humility and simplicity that will make our hearts and our souls the mirror on which your divine image reflects. And so be it. Amen.
within divine order. You are exactly where you're meant to be here now. On earth. In this moment in time and space. This incarnation with your soul family, learning the lessons we have come here on earth to learn in this, the school of life. And hard and all as it might seem, we think we didn't sign up for this. There is a bigger picture. We are more than we think. We are equipped with everything we need to walk this path of delight. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are ignited on our paths. We were made for these times. Do not lose hope. We have so much help from the other side of the veil. All of these beautiful entities of light and love are with us. The casa works very much with the Christ Consciousness. Although all creeds, all colours, all belief systems are welcome at the Casa. God is not a religion. God is a relationship. Bidden or not, God is always present. And no matter what our creed, when we just ask for help, God never abandons us. We're all children of God. Jesus is not a Christian. Buddha is not a Buddhist. Muhammad is not a Muslim. These are all ascended masters, teachers of love. Their religion is love. Love is all there is. Love never ends. It is eternal. So with this comfort in our hearts, we pray to the God of our lives. Whoever or whatever that means to you, us all, carnage and disincarnate, on our healing journey back home into the celestial fields. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness 
of the creator of creation. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from snares of devils, from temptation of vices, from everyone who shall wish me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils, against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul against incantations of false prophets, against craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths and wizards, against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Christ, to shield me today, against poison, against burning, against drowning, against wounding, so that they may come to me in abundance of reward. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ within me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I arise. Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me. Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Christ in every eye that sees me. Christ in every ear that hears me. Christ ever be. Amen.
The universe is unfolding exactly as it is meant to. There's a divine plan for all of us. And we're all in this together. And we have never had more help available to us as we do now with this explosion of consciousness on the planet, we have this opportunity to get our lives in order, to get our priorities right. The great pause. The world did not stop spinning on its axis. to be anything, be kind. And all that matters in the end is how much did we love? And as we breathe slowly, gently, deeply into the heart center, the center of our being, consciously, taking these beautiful, life-giving breaths from God Almighty. Creator, breathing in more and more and more divine light from the everlasting source of all light, permitting this beautiful love light to penetrate our very being here now, mind, body, spirit, nourishing us, filling us up to overflowing giving us everything we need and much, much more to do this cleansing, healing work on Earth in these ever-changing times. Remembering this beautiful light, becoming this high vibration, becoming lighter. And with each precious breath, pouring forth from our open hearts, filling Gaia with this highly vibrational, strong, sure, pure, all-encompassing, crystal clear light, sharing a gift of purification, illumination and transformation upon all of our brothers and sisters, courage and disencourage in this moment. Scientists will tell us that the universe is made of matter, but we know that the universe is made of love and we embrace this beautiful gift of life that we have been given even the dogs are excited about it and we need to remember it's not your back that hurts it's the burden 
It's not your eyes that hurt. It's the injustice. It's not your head that hurts. It's your thoughts. It's not your throat that hurts. It's what you don't express or what you say with anger. It's not your stomach that hurts. It's what your soul does not digest. It's not your liver that hurts. It's your anger. It's not your heart that hurts. It is your love. And it is love itself that contains the most powerful medicine.
this solemn hour when our hearts are saturated with God's love. We are open to receive now this deep, deep, deep cleansing from these beautiful entities of light and love. As we surrender all of our problems, our anxieties, our fears, our pain, our hurt, our grudges, our resentments, all of our issues over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos, transmuting all of this denser energy into divine light as we unburden ourselves and become lighter, happier, healthier, stronger, more peace and harmony with all of creation, of which each and every one of us is an integral part of. If you'd like to visualise a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa de Dom Ignacio or any place of sacred running water that you know with all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation. Strong green oak trees cleansing our oxygen. Birds of paradise serenading us in a divine orchestra. Carpets of multicoloured fragrant flowers and crystal clear waters embodying rainbows of light. Let us all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is a time of true forgiveness, of surrendering anything and everything that's stopping us, holding us back from becoming the beautiful light beings that we truly are. Now is the time, there is no better time. This is the work we came on earth to do. The work of liberation. And let's bring medium Chuao into this high vibration also. And anyone and everyone who has suffered or is suffering on behalf of the problems at the Casa. And not forgetting our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light. Extending this magnificent high vibration to them also. Every being deserves to be healed whether we have a body or not. And as we receive this magnificent love light, these celestial blessings from on high into our open hearts, let's share this bounty with our brothers and sisters all over Mother Earth, allowing this gorgeous energy to pour forth into all hospitals, helping our angel doctors and nurses and all of our healthcare professionals and any of our brothers and sisters who are working on the front lines. Allowing this beautiful energy to pour forth into hospices, nursing homes, helping our elders, asylums, prisons, orphanages, anywhere and everywhere on Mother Earth where our brothers and sisters are suffering or in pain or are hungry. Allowing this God light to pour forth into the war zones, bringing peace and harmony in our lifetime. Remembering the words of Saint Rita of Cassia, to God, all things are possible. Allowing this high vibration to pour forth into the migrant camps, helping to liberate our brothers and sisters, remembering we're all the same. No difference, interconnected, all part of the same shining web. Allowing this high vibration to pour forth into the consciousness of our government leaders. We need them now more than ever to make good decisions about our future and the future for generations to come. Putting people before profits. Allowing this pristine, crystal clear energy to pour forth into our ecosystems, nourishing, regenerating. Already, Mother Earth is recovering. Hallelujah, praise God. Permission.
permitting this gorgeous energy to envelop Gaia in this moment cleansing and healing as it gushes forth into the universe helping all beings incarnate and disincarnate into infinity
in and the, in these God given moments as we receive this beautiful Christ consciousness which is love and light into our open hearts pouring from the celestial fields onto earth we are joyful and happy knowing that everything will be okay and all of this every part of it is for love thank you to God Almighty for giving us this opportunity to love and to serve magnificent entities of light and love for being there for us through these enduring times reminding us we're not alone we have everything we need as we reach out and ask for help you to our brother Saint Christopher, Christ bearer, who is helping us to be a carrier of Christ on our shoulders, in our bodies, in our minds with constant devotion, and in our speech. Christ within us. Thank you, Jesus and Mary, for being with us, for helping us. And to all of you, my beautiful brothers and sisters, for your dedication your commitment, your courage, your faith, your hope, your light and your love. To be in service, faith moves mountains. Your faith will heal you and your love and your light are changing the world forever for the better. Thank you and congratulations. Dear God, we dedicate this work to you. Imprint your mind upon it. Fly with it unto the heavens. Use it to shower your love onto this troubled world.
Namaste.